I did my training in neuroscience. I'm a pharmacologist and I wanted to do drug discovery research so I purposely sought out research at the Vanderbilt Center for Neuroscience Drug Discovery. We selectively focused on M1, muscarinic acetylcholine receptor subtype 1, because it's located in areas of the brain that are essential for learning and memory and not uh, heavily located in the areas where all the adverse effects are seen or observed. We focus on that um, hopefully to increase the ability of our drugs to have a positive impact on Alzheimer's patients without them having to struggle so much uh, with tolerating um, all of these adverse effects. We had a lot of experience with the drug discovery process and finding new drugs that selectively um, target our receptors of interest in and optimizing them. We did not have the experience that we needed to advance that into first in human studies. The Harrington Discovery Institute, they have such in-depth expertise. There is not a question that you could pose to them that they can't find somebody that has the answer for it. And so it's been tremendous. There's a kind of a, a space between early stage discovery and early stage research and clinical evaluation in humans which is kind of where many projects stall. Many good ideas get so far and then stop because of the lack of any of these things. That's known in, the, um, in our parlance as the valley of death. So the concept for the Harrington Discovery Institute was that we would provide some of what's missing to help these great ideas progress through the valley of death over to the side where they're now developed enough, where there's enough data, enough confidence that a new medicine might emerge from this for pharma to come in to take a license and to move it forward. They've really made us stop and think about where we're going um, and how to get there, uh, the best, most efficient path. You need to look ahead to the design of your clinical trials. How are you going to design that? That affects what type of safety pharmacology and toxicology studies that you do. I can't imagine that we would be where we're at right now without the help of the Harrington Discovery Institute.